very soon. Atmospheric entry on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. Here we go. So in a few seconds, the vehicle will start sensing the atmosphere. I said 35, 22 kilometers from the center of Mars. And it's going to start to slow down very, very slowly at first, but then faster and faster and faster till, uh, to, to reach us about 7 Gs. I made that mistake in the video. It's actually 7 <laughs> Gs, not 12. Uh, and so it, it will, it, but we'll still very, very quickly slow down. And, uh, and, and from 15... In approximately one minute, inside is expected to reach its maximum heating rate. Oh, yes. Plasma blackout is possible during peak heating and could cause a temporary dropout of telemetry. This could last for as long as two minutes. Yeah, the, the gas that comes off the heat shield as it's slowing down, it looks like a meteor if you're on Mars watching the streak go by. That brightness of gas does interfere with the radio reception. And so it's possible that uh, Marco will lose that signal while it's going through this very hot entry. But not to be alarmed. Not to be alarmed. It's, it's part of the design. We, we, we completely expect it. Radio science reports plasma blackout as expected. Okay. Oh, wow. Ground stations have reported plasma blackout. Still receiving insight telemetry via Marco. Marco Alpha has carrier interruption. Insight should now be experiencing the peak heating rate. Portions of the heat shield may reach nearly 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit as it protects the lander from the heating environment. That's hot. Marco Province shows carrier interruption, but still in lock. Insight has passed through peak deceleration. Telemetry shows the spacecraft saw about 8 G. Marco Alpha and Marco Bravo maintain lock. Radio science reports carrier detected. Yeah. So, several different communications coming in. Insight is now traveling at a velocity of 2,000 meters per second. It seems to have passed this very critical point of peak heating. And peak deceleration. The next big step is parachute inflation. And you can see that on our timeline on the bottom of the screen. The next event is parachute deploy. Insight is now traveling at 1,000 meters per second. Oh, very close. Once Insight that. slows to about 400 meters per second, it will deploy its 12 meter diameter supersonic parachute. The parachute will deploy nominally at about Mach 1.7. Standing by for parachute deploy. Radio science reports sudden change in Doppler. Ground stations are observing signals consistent with parachute deploy. Marco Alpha, Marco Bravo, maintain lock status. Telemetry shows parachute deployment. Radar powered on. Heat shield separation commanded. This is really good news so far. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm on pins and needles. Yes. We have radar activation where the radar is beginning to search for the ground. Once the radar locks on the ground and inside is about one kilometer above the surface, 
the lander will separate from the back shell and begin terminal descent using its 12 descent engines. Altitude convergence, the radar has locked on the ground. Yes. <laughs> Standing by for lander separation. Carrier interruption on Marco Alpha and Marco Bravo. Lander separation commanded. Yes. Altitude 600 meters. Gravity turn, altitude 400 meters. We're getting there. 300 meters. 200 meters, 80 meters, 60 meters, 50 meters, constant velocity, 37 meters, 30 meters, 20 meters, 17 meters, standing by for touchdown. Touchdown confirmed. Standing by, after touchdown, it waits um, a, a couple of minutes to give us an X-band beep. And so we are standing by for that. It's a communication that comes directly to Earth from InSight. Yes, um, and, and it goes uh, to, to the Deep Space Network. There's also something that might be happening now, if we're very lucky. Uh, InSight might be able to relay uh, a, an image or a parcel image taken just a few a couple of minutes after landing. So I'm standing by hoping to see that. But if that doesn't happen, we'll certainly get more images later uh, in our Odyssey Pass in well, about five hours. We see Bruce Banner waiting for it. There they are. They're, I, they're looking I don't for, know if they see it yet. They're waiting. That's, that's Justin Mackey and Bruce Banner uh, looking carefully at the cameras to see what they might see. Uh, now, waiting for the image to come back. So this is the first image from InSight itself. InSight Correct. is taking a picture with one yes. of its two cameras. Yes. It's probably a uh, view of what's directly in front yes. of the spacecraft, right yes. in front of the lander. This is a camera that it would be using to figure out is this a good space? Exactly. Is it a good place to put down our instruments? So it is going to take an image and then send that image to the Marcos. The Marcos, in turn, will relay it back down to Earth. That's correct. They got it. And oh, no. Let's, see. Let's, let's just wait. Let's see what they saw. There it is. Wow, wow. Right. So it's great. I don't see a lot of. Uh, I don't see a lot of. Uh... Let's explain that image. Now this image has a dust cover on top. EDL of Tom, we have so lost the signal for Marco. You can see potentially a lot of. Uh, so, uh, radio science uh, a lot of reports that might be uh, on the camera. LOS for UHF. 
so we don't know what I'm looking Thank at. Thank you, like, everybody on the email, All right. Yeah. Yay, Marco. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, there it is. You can see a better view. You can see that really is debris. And there is the horizon back there, uh, the bluish sky. Uh, um, that's part of the lander deck on the front left. Um, I can't take out, but it looks like there's not a lot of rocks in the field of view. But those dots you see there are very likely to be dust particles on the, on the lens, the dust cover, the dust which cover. will be removed. After, and we'll and get another shot yes. later on. Yes, um, and amazing. a better, clear view after the dust cutter is removed. So, um, it, uh, insights. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, CubeSat's relay communications job is done. They're now flying on. They're now taking pictures back toward Mars. Uh, uh, hopefully, MRO, which flew overhead, might have been lucky enough to capture the descent of this InSight lander on its, under its parachute. Uh, while, was, while, while this was going on, it, MRO was flying overhead recording the data, uh, um, like a, also monitoring the tra transactions and recording every bit of signal it could. And, but it also had the ability to take a picture. And maybe we'll, like we did with, with uh, both Phoenix and later for Curiosity rover, we might be able to see the parachute inflated That as well. would be fantastic. We are standing by now for that X-band beep. Yes. Insight phoning home saying, I'm here and I'm okay.